Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Friday, August the 1st. It's the seventh week after Pentecost and week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scriptures for this service, Psalm 69, verse 1 to 29. And Matthew chapter 28, verse 1 to 10. And please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the same tune as Amazing Grace. You made the ebbing channel dry while Israel passed the flood. There did the church begin their joy and triumph in their God. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, save me, O God, for the waters have risen to my neck. Alleluia, Psalm 69. And please let us recite it together. Alleluia, save me, O God, for the waters have risen to my neck. I sink deep in the muck where there is no firm ground. I have come into deep waters where the floods wash over me. I am weary by my crying, my throat is parched, and my eyes fail while I wait for my God. And they that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head that they would destroy me wrongfully, they that would destroy me wrongfully are mighty. Must I restore that which I never took? O oh God, you know my foolishness, and my sins are not hidden from you. Do not let them that wait on you be ashamed for my sake. Do not let them that seek you be confused and confounded because of me, O oh God of Israel. For your sake I have borne reproach, Shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my family, an alien to my mother's children. For the zeal of your house has consumed me, and the reproaches of them that scorned you have fallen upon me. When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that was turned into my reproach. I made sackcloth my garment, and I became a proverb to them, they that sit in the gate speak against me, and drunkards make songs about me. But as for me, this is my prayer, O God, in your own time. O God, in the vastness of your mercy, hear me in the truth of your salvation. Deliver me out of the mire, and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me, and out of the deep waters. Let not the floods cover me. Neither let the deep pit swallow me, and let not the pit shut her mouth upon me. Hear me, O Most High, for your loving kindness is good. Turn to me in your tender mercy, and do not hide your face from me, for I am in trouble. Answer me quickly. Draw near and redeem my soul. Deliver me from my enemies. You have known my reproach, my shame, and my dishonor. My adversaries are all before you. Reproach has broken my heart. I have reached the end of my strength. I looked in vain for some to take pity, and for comforters, but I found none. They gave me gall for my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table be a snare for them, and their sacred feasts a trap. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and make their limbs tremble and shake. Pour out your indignation on them, and let your fierce anger take hold of them. Let their homes be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents, for they persecute one whom you have smitten, and insult those whom you have wounded. Add iniquities to their iniquity. Let them not come into your righteousness, let them be blotted out of the book of the living and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and sorrowful. O God, save me and set me on high.
Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Save me, O God, for the waters have risen to my neck. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 28, beginning at verse 1. After the Sabbath day, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. And his appearance was like lightning, and his clothes white as snow. For fear of him the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay, and then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has been raised from the dead. And indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee, and there you will see him. This is my message for you. And so they left the tomb quickly, filled with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. And suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings! And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. And then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please say the response after each verse. Defend us and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Let us sing together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, you have seen our shame and dishonor. In your vast mercy, draw near and redeem our souls. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. 